With the imminent release of GPT-5, today's video will cover nine of the confirmed features of the GPT-4 successor. Now, of course, it may contain a little bit of speculation, but many of the sources of these statements come from Sam Altman revealing major updates on the upcoming model. Is GPT-5 truly bigger than what we can imagine? Well, some of these updates are pleasing, while others are truly worrying. To find out what is cooking inside the research labs of OpenAI, join us as we exclusively unravel these updates. But before before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as we strive to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. Number 9. Larger Context Windows After the release of Google's Gemini, OpenAI does not hold the monopoly in the general-purpose AI chatbot industry anymore. We have seen some major updates to Gemini, and the most notable among all of them was its increased context window. For starters, the context window is actually the size of an input an AI model can process. A larger window allows for better better understanding of complex ideas and longer conversations. Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, as of today, can process up to 10 million tokens, and which means that it can deal with up to 11 hours of audio, 30,000 lines of code, 700,000 words, and a mammoth hour-long video. Currently, GPT-4 Turbo's context window is sized at 128,000 tokens, while even Claude 2.0 can accept 200,000 tokens. Most of the reports claim that OpenAI wants to take up this challenge because they are lagging far behind the competition, but we are still unsure if this model with larger context window will be called GPT-5 or something that goes more in the lines of GPT-4.5. Number 8. 10% better? Now this update actually came from Sam Altman, so there is no point in calling it a speculation. Sam stated that GPT-5 would be around 10% better than GPT-4. Does not quite sound like a big deal. Well, it does when we bring into perspective GPT-3.5X Turbo and compare it with GPT-4. GPT-4 is way more powerful than GPT-3.5X Turbo, and in some cases, it shows even a 100% improvement. Does that mean there is no further room for improvement? Well, the answer to that is no, because from this point onward, even a small betterment in comparison to GPT-4 would mark a huge improvement. Number 7. Advanced Reasoning Capabilities So, Sam Altman actually had a chat with Bill Gates, and he talked about some exciting upgrades coming to the next version of GPT, either GPT-5 or GPT-4.5. Right now, GPT-4 can only reason in very basic ways and isn't always reliable. Users can ask the same question multiple times and only get a good answer only once in a while, but that too without the model knowing which answer is correct and why it is correct. Sam wants to make the next model more reliable and smarter, which means it'll be more useful in different areas. For example, if a model can give the right answer 99% of the time instead of just 90%, it can be used in industries where precision is a big deal. Considering that Gemini Ultra surpassed GPT-4 in reasoning a few months ago, it scored better on various tests, showing improvements in reasoning abilities. Not only that, Claude also outperformed GPT-4 again, showing that reasoning is a key area for improvement. For OpenAI, GPT-4 was supposed to be really smart, but these newer models are pushing the boundaries even further. These micro-environmental factors are suggesting that OpenAI is short on options, and they have to make sure that their next model has by far the best advanced reasoning abilities, not only just to stay competitive, but also to reclaim their lost throne. Number 6. Personalization Sam Altman, along with Bill Gates, talked about how people love personalization. He claimed that most of the masses need a model tailor-made to their workflows. If we talk about what is currently available, neither Gemini nor Claude know anything about us. They don't know the details of our calendars, they are unaware of our tastes, and they can barely suggest options according to our personality traits. Now, this is a big open avenue for OpenAI. If they are planning on releasing GPT-4.5 or GPT-5, which can be personalized, this could actually prove to be a sustainable differentiator. When a chatbot can adapt to their specific interests, habits, and history, it creates a more engaging and satisfying experience. Personalization also enhances efficiency by providing relevant information faster, reducing frustration and time wasted on irrelevant responses. For OpenAI, incorporating this feature would ensure a rise in user retention. This is because when users feel understood and catered to, they are more likely to engage with the chatbot over and over again because the model only comes up with what the user requires. Number 5. Interface Speeds and Latency GPT-4 users can relate to the fact that even after paying for ChatGPT+, they often have to wait longer for the output than the free GPT-3.5x Turbo mode. In November of last year, OpenAI introduced GPT-4 Turbo, a version of their top AI model that significantly reduced the cost 
cost associated with running it. However, since its release, there have been complaints about instances where the model appears to be lazy occasionally and refusing to respond to prompts or complete tasks as expected. OpenAI has made multiple attempts to address this issue of perceived laziness, but so far, there isn't any commendable success. Considering OpenAI's computational constraints due to their expensive projects in various areas like superintelligence, Sora, future GPT models, and visual models, many sources are claiming that the next version of GPT-5 would not be as fast as Altman fancies. Now, in this case, OpenAI's GPT-4 is not the sole lagger. Gemini 1.5 Pro also sometimes takes several minutes to respond to large code bases, and it's evident that as systems become smarter and handle more data, response times increase. Until there are significant advancements in computing power and efficiency, we should expect inference speed for the smartest models to remain relatively slow. Number 4. Less hallucinations. Nations. LLMs like the ones made by OpenAI learn from huge amounts of data collected from the internet and licensed from media companies. This helps them answer questions in a way that sounds like a real person. But sometimes the information they give might not be accurate and they might mix up details. If GPT-5 can get better at understanding new tasks while also reducing mistakes like these, it would be a big step forward for OpenAI. The report says that OpenAI is still training GPT-5. Once that's done, they'll test it to make sure it's safe and doesn't have any problems. They'll also have a team to try to find any issues before letting the public use it. Altman was asked directly if we could expect GPT-5 this year, but he didn't give a clear answer. Instead, he mentioned that OpenAI has other important releases planned before GPT-5, particularly focusing on the new model that Altman had previously discussed in a poetic manner. Depending on how long this testing takes, the release is surely set to be delayed. The irony is that we do not know the release date yet, but we are almost sure that a delay is inevitable. Number three, multimodality. It's pretty clear that GPT-5 will likely be multimodal, meaning it can handle text, images, audio, and video all together right from the start. We've seen hints of this since Sora came out. Mira Marathi, OpenAI CTO, mentioned that Sora should be ready for everyone to use by the end of the year. Hopefully, this multimodal capability will also be part of GPT-5. Sora's performance, however, remains another question unanswered, as Reddit is full of posts in which people are complaining how it takes 10 minutes to load a video that is not even a minute long. We will discuss Sora in greater detail some other day because in the context of today's video, it's worth mentioning that while talking to Bill Gates, Altman mentioned that OpenAI is constantly working on improving their models. He talked about how important multimodality will be for GPT-5, allowing it to handle video and make new videos. He even said they've already started working on it. This is actually good news considering how lagging and expensive the current version of GPT Vision is. Number two, GPT-6 already? Already? GPT-5 is not out yet, and there is no hope that it is coming out soon. But GPT-6 has already been announced. Not officially, though, but rather symbolically. Now, the reason behind that is OpenAI's filing of trademark applications for GPT-6 and GPT-7 in China. Even though ChatGPT isn't accessible in China or Hong Kong due to the Chinese government's strict internet regulations, OpenAI still filed trademark applications. These applications were submitted under Class 9, which includes scientific and research equipment and Class 42, covering technology, designs, and services. The applications were filed through OpenAI Opco, its parent company. These trademarks might just be symbolic, but they actually somehow provide an outlook that OpenAI is keenly interested in rolling out GPT models one after another. Number one, GPT and AGI. Altman has mentioned his ambition to develop the world's first AGI. Some discussions about GPT-5 have raised questions about whether it could show signs of progress towards this ambitious goal. However, most experts in AI believe we're still years away from achieving true AGI. A recent prediction suggests that AGI might not become a reality until at least 2032. Additionally, the road to AGI is filled with ethical challenges. Despite its potential benefits, there are concerns about the development of advanced AI. A petition supported by influential figures like Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak has called for a halt in development beyond GPT-4. This reflects the growing worries about about advanced AI among both governments and the public. As development for GPT-5 progresses, the debate around its ethical implications becomes more intense. Will it be a significant step towards AGI, or will ethical concerns take precedence? Only time will reveal the true outcome of this intriguing story. With that, we conclude today's video. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. Have you seen the latest updates on GPT-6? To find out, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!